What's up y'all, my name's Sean and this is Draw Every Day. And on this day, I'm really excited to share my costume concept of Simu Liu as Shang-Chi and Marvel's Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. In this video, you'll see the whole process and I'll talk about some of the techniques I used to create the final image. But first, click subscribe and do a running jump kick at the like button. Also, we're giving away a Huion H610 Pro at 1,000 subs, as well as many other goodies along the way. I'll have all of the details on how to enter at the end of the video. Okay, so today's video is a little different. Normally I have the reference image on the left and I draw on the right. But today I'm gonna to use a technique called photo bash where I use actual photos and then paint on top of them to more quickly achieve an effect. This is less to create a final painting and more to create a fast concept. Um, so obviously I started with pictures of Simu Liu, best known for his role on Kim's Convenience. Luckily, he's a good looking man and there are a ton of photos of him on the internet looking cool. One of the first things I do with the photo is throw it into camera raw filter to really crank up the contrast and also uh, use the luminance effect in there to give it more of a painterly look. As you can see, I'm just sort of, you know, chopping these photos up, sliding them around. I added some quarter length sleeves, um, but for the most part, it's still just photos of him. Um, I'm masking out the parts that I don't need, uh, painting out some of the seams in the pants and now giving them a little more of a form fitting look. From here I'll be using gradient maps to try and pull some of the disparate photo elements together and then I'll be painting in details to just further unify the piece. If you see how I'm letting some of those yellow strokes sort of bleed into the red, that's going to sort of make it look like uh, some of the ambient lighting is fading in and it's going to help place him in the scene. One of the things I noticed as I started painting in the details of his costume was that if you draw it wrong, like I did, with a triangle instead of the more rectangular protrusion that it's supposed to be, he really looks like a character from Star Trek, which would not bode well for his future. I had seen a few versions of Shang-Chi that used this yellow piping and I thought it looked pretty cool, but ultimately it kind of made him look like Captain Marvel, especially when I started adding that yellow sash, which I quickly decided was not the way to go. Hero is trying some different things with his uh, boots and his gauntlets. The boots are way over the top, but I did have a concept behind them. The idea was that um, Shang-Chi had acquired the Ten Rings, and so there would be eight on his legs, and then, um, let's see, how many more to ten? That would be two more. Those would be on his wrist, and um, it was just a little bit too much. He looks like a Power Ranger or something. As you can see, I was still really trying to work that belt slash sash in there. I am pro sash. As you can see, despite what I just said, I am still trying to make the boots work. I talked a little bit about how excited I am for this movie in my first Shang-Chi video, but the part that I didn't talk about was that we really have no idea what to expect from this movie. From my research, there's a ton of different versions of Shang-Chi and some of them have different power sets. I saw that recently he gained the ability to create multiples of himself, which would just be so cool to see on screen. I know that the X-Men movies had a character who did that, but like most of the characters who weren't named Wolverine, he didn't get to do much. But now imagine that same power set on Shang-Chi, the master of Kung Fu, in an action scene against the Mandarin using the Ten Rings. I mean, this could be mind-blowing. We're talking special effects sequences on par with Doctor Strange. All right, right now I'm trying to figure out what style gauntlets that I want. I didn't want anything too Wonder Woman, but I felt that the small details I added were too much. <laughs> trying out some hairstyles apparently, uh, changing his facial expression a little bit with the liquify tool. 
Here I'm using a trick where I duplicate the layers, then apply an exposure filter, which darkens them. Then I put a layer mask on that and paint out highlights. This can let you add a little more depth and dynamic lighting to a photo that might have flatter lighting than you would like. And it's a technique that I use all of the time, especially when you're using images from the internet and uh, times when you just don't have the best reference imagery. Like now, for instance, where I wanted to give Shang-Chi his signature nunchucks, uh, but I didn't have a hand reference for that, so I had to paint it myself. I don't know if you guys have ever noticed that the MCU tends to have costumes that do this ridiculous thing where they take the large, bold, beautiful shapes of the comic book and add these tiny, techy, pointless details all around them, I guess to add visual interest that actually adds nothing at the end of the day. So I added some of that. Here you can see I made the decision to lose the split collar and the zipper. The zipper was hard to let go because I really actually liked how that looked and maybe there's an opportunity for a more casual or under his tuxedo look that has a zipper. But I thought that the one piece with the turtleneck was a little more iconic and um, ultimately evokes that Bruce Lee look that he's going for. I'm about to start drawing some details in on the nunchucks and placing them in his hand. Um, here you can see I'm using my wonderful chain brush. Um, this brush is just one in a large set that I've been collecting over the years. I started my collection with Mark Molner's Mega Brush Pack from 2013. If you Google that, Mark, M-O-L-N-A-R, you'll be able to find it. The chalk brush that I used throughout this drawing and that I use for about 90% of my actual drawing and painting is from that brush pack. It's a great place to start. Right now I'm kind of tightening things up just a little bit. Uh, I kind of settled on a different sort of gauntlet for him. Those were too big. Earlier they were too small. I think this is about right. If it's not obvious, right here as I'm drawing the hand, I'm using the color picker to get colors from the photograph so that I can make sure that we're matching the same skin tone and lighting setup. Basically just going through and adding details, trying to tighten everything up a bit, but it doesn't need to be photorealistic because um, people aren't gonna scrutinize the hand the same way that they would a face or um, some sort of mechanical thing. Uh, as long as it looks close enough, they'll roll with it. Any digital artist will tell you, the best part of any project is when you get to bust out the color dodge layer and start painting light. I wanted to give the gauntlets in his shoes this bright, powered up look as if his battery were on 100%. I'm not sure if there's any justification for that in the canon, but it sure would look cool. Okay guys, that's the final concept. Let me know what you think in the comments. Do you like my take on the costume or is there a different look for Shang-Chi that you prefer? Do you think he'll have a comic accurate costume in the movie? Or do you think they'll stick with his MI6 background and give him some sort of body armor look that references the Kung Fu suit, but doesn't go all the way? Finally, what do you think of Simu Liu being cast as Shang-Chi? I haven't seen Kim's Convenience, but I hear that it's really good. I gotta say though, he has his work cut out for him acting opposite Tony Leung, who's an absolute legend. Speaking of, I should probably do a concept of him as the Mandarin, huh? 
If you have any other comments or criticisms, leave them in the comments. This is Draw Every Day. I'm Sean, and we'll be back with another photorealistic digital painting real soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You won't want to miss it. Like I said, we are giving away a Huion H610 Pro graphics tablet at 1,000 subs. This is the same graphics tablet we use at Draw Every Day's state-of-the-art headquarters. All you need to do to be entered is to subscribe, turn on notifications, like, and leave a comment on this video. We'll also be giving away $50 gift cards to imprint at every 250 subscribers. Winners will be announced at the end of a video with giveaway clearly in the title, and liking and commenting on more than one video will increase your chances to win. For Draw Every Day, I'm Sean, and we'll be back tomorrow.